Hi guys, it's Crystal City, your homestead. So, it's Friday, time to get Jack's meals around for the weekend. And so I thought I'd bring you along with me. Also, these meals I've made so that you could actually make them as hors d'oeuvres or snacks during the holidays as well. So, it's going to be double purpose video for today. So the first thing I'm going to make him is chicken bacon ranch biscuit cups. So, I'm going to take, it says it needs a cup of chicken. If there's any of the stuffing left over, then I'll send it home with them and they can make sandwiches or whatever with it. So I'm going to chop this. This is the chicken that we debone. And I'm going to chop it up really fine. I think these are going to be amazing. When you put chicken and bacon together in ranch, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Because <laughs> for some reason, those just go together, I think. No Emmy in the background today. His daddy's home with them. He still woke up not feeling good. And now AJ's not feeling good and he's got to go pick him up from school. So <laughs> My son's going to have his hands full. Grandma will if he has to, gets called into work because he's on standby right now, but that's okay. This is where that sickness started nine weeks ago was with little kids. But you know, you're going to have that. I mean, you have little kids in your life. They're little magnets for everything that comes along. So that's okay. Just a little bit rougher to get over when you get older. <laughs> Alright, and then we're going to add a third cup of the real bacon bits. And a third cup of ranch dressing. Alrighty. Let me get a little thing here to clean that out. All right. Then we need um, a cup of shredded cheese. I know I have everything on my countertop, so it gets to be a little unorganized for a minute until I get other ones done. <laughs> then we're going to put a cup of cheese in there. And then we need salt and pepper. I'm not going to put tons of salt in there because, you know, you've got salt in your ranch dressing and whatever. Okay. And then you need a bunch of green onions chopped. I love these things. I really do. I don't know what it is about the taste of them, but it just, it'd be my favorite kind of onion. I love them. And they're fragrant too, and not like a, like these onions I've been chopping up lately are supposedly sweet onions, but you guys, they have been making me cry like a baby. It's ridiculous. You shouldn't be crying like a baby with sweet onions. <laughs> Alrighty. Had to quit and come back. My kitty litter dish is on its last leg. And I can't afford a new one. So once in a while it gets really, really loud. So I just had to stop for a minute. So now we're going to mix all this up together really, really good. 
And if I don't think that third cup is going to be enough to mix it all together, I'll add a little bit more to it. Not a whole lot, but just a little maybe. I'm going to add just a tiny bit to it. I'm sure it'll stick good together with the um, cheese melting and stuff, but I'd like it to hold together better when it's going in. All right. That looked beautiful. <laughs> All right. So the first thing we need is some cupcake pans. And then we have some of these... Um, they didn't have the 10 pack like what they asked for, only 8 packs. And the 10 packs that they did have were those small ones, you know what I mean? So I don't think that would have worked good enough for this. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to tear them in half. And so I may not need the two full packs to do what I'm doing. I'm going to stretch them just a little bit before I put them in. And then I'm going to put them in the hole. You can do it afterwards, whatever you want to do. It's your meal, you know, you do you. But I just think it'd be a little bit easier if you did it before it goes in. But who am I to say? <laughs> Hopefully they all come apart pretty easy. These look so delicious, and I'm going to cook them all here so you'll get to see if they look real good after I've made them too, and that way they just got to warm them up. Tonight's dinner, I hope, is going to be really, really good too. I'm looking forward to it. Last night's was amazing. I think tonight's last move is going to be really good. And actually, I'm going to talk to Tom when he gets out of work today. They have at this place called Fresh Time, they have sliced ham. I think I want to go look at it. For a buck seventy-nine a pound, he's going to have to make room in our freezer for it. But, wow, I'm just saying, that's, that'd be probably, if I got one, that'd probably be enough ham for the entire year. Into next year, too, you know what I mean? So... And at that kind of price, I mean, that's that's really cheap. And they also have some blackberries if I use my coupons for 99 cents a pint. And who don't like blackberries? <laughs> when they go on sale like that, what I do is... <coughs> excuse me. What I do is I um, put them into pint bags or little quart, half quart bags, whatever I use. And what I'll do with them is use them for Tom's things I send to work, like with either cottage cheese or yogurt or whatever, and I'll put them in there. And that's always a nice, refreshing treat for him. And it'll do quite a few, you know what I mean? So that's a good thing. I think this will work out just fine like this, to be honest. Then I have a question for you guys. My views are way down. <laughs> like, I was getting up to where I was at 600, 500, 400. And like last night's, it was just over 100. And I went through a period where I gained like 100 people in like two weeks. And now I'm just losing people. Is there something I'm not doing right, do you think? Because you want your YouTube channel to grow, not to get smaller. <laughs> so, I mean, did I just pick the wrong thing to do or just kind of let me know? And if it's real mean, don't say it. <laughs> How's that? Just don't say it. We all have to develop tough skin, but at the same time, there's some people that can be really, really mean. And we don't need that. 
And for whoever thinks that I, I take those views off of there in the comments, I don't. So if somebody is mean, I leave it right up. Generally, I don't have that problem. So if I did, then, you know, I don't take it down. All right. So now what we want to do is fill these cups with the mixture. And like I say, whatever I have left, if I have any, um, these make great sandwiches too. So it'd be like a chicken salad sandwich, no big deal. I'm going to proof these up more as I go along if I need to. These are going to be amazing. If you guys could smell these, they smell so good. I can't imagine them not tasting wonderful. And I had Jack spray the pins really, really good so that... Everything would pop out really good for them. All right. Actually, I might have just enough, to be honest. I had him bring his own pans over so that this time he can just take his stuff home. He's starting to get more of the containers that we use for his stuff. You know what, you guys? I think I'm going to have exactly enough. Not even enough for me to snack on. Jeez, old Pete. I'm kidding. <laughs> Wonderful. So now I'm going to put these in a 400 degree oven and they cook for 18 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to slide these in the oven, get this cleaned up just a little bit and I'll be right back for the next one. All right. So the next one is um, barbecued beef biscuit cups. So I'm going to take the already cooked beef that Jack has done and I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of barbecue sauce. I'm gonna guesstimate. We're gonna do a tablespoon of minced onions. If you want to use real onions, I'm sure you could do that too as well. And then we need a cup of cheddar cheese. I've already stretched out my cup so you guys didn't have to watch me do that again. <laughs> I don't want to bore anybody to death. <laughs> Alright. Then we got all that mixed together. And we'll see with the barbecue sauce. Same thing. See if we got enough. And if not, we can always add it. I'm going to chop this burger up just a little bit finer. It'll fit in the cups okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more. You guys always make your, your recipe your own. Whatever you think is best, that's what you do. You're not a test kitchen. <laughs> nice. That look pretty. Alrighty. Excuse me. So now we're going to fill these cups up. Now it did say to put the cheese on the top, but I'm going to put them, I put it inside the mixture. I think it's going to keep better inside the, the things here and it won't be as messy. If you want to add cheese to the top, then you can do that. That's up to you. I just thought it'd be more mixed in and you know what I mean 
but you do you. Or if you really like cheese, you could just add more to the top anyway. <laughs> How about that? That works too. <laughs> I do want to thank you guys for all the great comments yesterday from the Thankful Thursday. I love doing them. When I, be, when I think about all the things to be thankful and grateful for, even if life isn't perfect, it does get me a bit emotional because right now with everything going on in the world, As bad as we have it here, it could be worse. And so when I do the grateful, the thankful Thursday, my brain goes to that, if that makes sense. And not only that, but I've seen how mean people can be. And I don't mean I, I mean like in the world and it's just so nasty. I can't imagine wanting to be like that. And I did have four biscuits left by the way. So I've got them on a pan baking right now so they don't go to waste. And I think the other ones are done. Those ones have to go in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes now. Look how beautiful those are. Now tell me at a party that wouldn't be one heck of an appetizer and you know I was thinking while I was doing up dishes that you could actually do like the miniature ones and you could use them as little tiny hors d'oeuvres. It'll be a little bit more work. You know you'd probably have to cut your biscuits in quarters or whatever but those would be beautiful too. So I would love it if I went to a party and I could grab something like that. I might not be hungry for dinner <laughs> all right so I will let me set up for the next one it's something that I've I'm sure there's plenty of recipes out there like that but it's something that I've set up for me all right so for the third and last one I thought about who doesn't love pizza so what I bought was some of these um, street tacos they're smaller and we'll see how many will fit on a pan Told Jack, bring your biggest pan that you have. <laughs> and actually, this should be more than a weekend, so whatever they don't use, well, who are you kidding? There won't be none left. Never mind. But for the rest of us, um, this would be great to, you know, grab some, put some in the freezer, and then, like, days that you don't have lunch situated, whatever, pull a couple out, and there's lunch. And I picked these ones because street tacos are a little bit thicker so that it'll hold up a lot better than just your regular, you know, trying to flatten these out as much as I can. All right. So then, I, of course, we all know how to make pizza, hopefully, but I'm going to put pizza sauce on every one of them. And some of them are going to get messy like that one. I'm going to make them a little bit saucy. Why not? And this is using one of our leftover pizza sauces that we used a little over a week ago. So you can always save those. You don't have to throw them away. You can use it a different time. Boy, I made some a little bit too saucy, I think, but that's all right. All right. Maybe I can get some sauce off of this one, put it over here. Sauce off of that one, put it over here. <laughs> you know, some people like real saucy pizza. I'm not one, but there are people that love, I remember when I used to cook pizzas for a living, people would be like, put lots of extra sauce on it. <laughs> so, 
There are people that really, truly don't do love the sauce. I just got to check these biscuits real quick, guys. Don't want them burning. All right, another minute. I can tell you a story. My mother-in-law, late mother-in-law, she would be in charge of making the biscuits every year. <laughs> That's back when they had just a small one, you know. And every year, I don't care if she set a timer or whatever, she always, always burnt the biscuits. <laughs> Even years that we would try to pay attention and, and time them for her, she still burn the biscuits. I love that lady. I tell you, I've known her. I had known her since I was 16. And I tell you, we went through a couple of rough patches, but, you know, um... I absolutely loved my ex-husband's parents. Love, love, loved his dad. They were... His mom was from Corning, Arkansas. And so when she got mad... <laughs> believe me, you know it. And she was a Scorpio to boot. So, yeah, she was... She was something. I miss her. She's a good lady. She's one that told me, she said, you know... Even if I won the lottery, she goes, I'd still use my tea bags twice. And, you know, that shows you how grounded you can be as a human. You know what I mean? That even if you were rich, there's things you would not give up. She said she had a dream one time, actually. And she said, I forgot to play that one number. She goes, I would have won $2 million. But she goes, I didn't play that one number. She goes, I played a different one. And I'm like, well, I bet you don't do that one again. <laughs> She was something. I truly loved her. She was amazing. She got my kids to... Because I don't like to ride the public bus, and she used to, because she never had a driver's license. And she got my kids to love to ride on the bus. All right, those are done. Four done biscuits. Oh, heck yeah. All right, so now we're going to doctor these up. And like I say, you could cut these in quarters or whatever, too. You don't have to, you know, serve a whole big thing like that. You can break them up in halves or quarters and put them on a tray. Because pizza's good even cold. We all know that one, right? <laughs> I think we're going to have to buy more, but... um. Pepperoni after this, though. We've resorted now that we just buy this bigger bag from Walmart because we end up using pepperoni for so many different things that, you know, we might as well buy the bigger one and save some money. I hope this fits in my oven. <laughs> this is a big pan. No, I asked Jack, I go, do you want anything other than pepperoni on it? He's, no, that's fine. But we're going to add a few other things, too. He would, seriously, you guys, if he could live on pepperoni, salami, stuff like that, he would do it in a heartbeat. He really, really would. He loves that stuff big time. Maybe I'll tear apart those biscuits and make my lunch. A couple of um, pizzas with it. <laughs> ideas, ideas. All right, now we have those real bacon bits left. So I'm going to add that to the pizzas too. Why not? When I do his lunches, his stuff like this, he actually buys the stuff that I need extra. So, why not use it up for him and Missy? And they both really like bacon, so that won't be such a bad thing either. Alright, so we got bacon on there. And then I got to thinking, they both like these little peppers. 
So why not put a few of those on there? I don't know if I have enough up here to do all of them, but we can do a couple. Until I use it up and then I'll have him bring me up a new jar. Look at that. Why not have a full pizza? You guys can add whatever you want. Your pizza, your kitchen. You know, if your friends only like vegetarian stuff, you can always make veggie pizzas. We got just a couple more here. Might have enough to finish up. Another jar for Tom to take downstairs. <laughs> He's been getting a lot of those <laughs> this last week. After doing the canning week. Got one little piece left here. Hold on. There it is. I'll have him bring me up a new one. Alright, so now... We're going to add just a sprinkling of cheese over top. Because we did put quite a bit at the bottom, so we don't need tons of cheese on there. Look at that. Then, something I forgot to grab. Go figure. I always forget something. Um, there it is. Let's grab Italian seasoning. Look at that. How's those look? I think they look amazing. So I'm going to put those in the oven and get them cooked up and I'll be back. Well, hi, Jack. Hello. So pizzas are done. I didn't finish them 100%. He does have a little bit of mozzarella cheese at home. So maybe if you want to put just a little bit more cheese on top, yeah. pop them in the oven for five minutes and they'll be nice and cheesy too. So we've got the... Um, chicken cups and we've got the barbecued beef cups so let me take you over to all of them you guys there's the pizzas the chicken and the barbecued beef so what do you think jack everything looks good i think so too and wouldn't these be nice at a party if people could just pick them up oh yeah i'm telling you guys i think this would be really good for parties and if you already have the stuff at home it's really not that expensive so, I am going to get this put together. I got a few things I want to do today, and then a supper video, and so I'll be back. You guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Be a blessing, and bye. Bye, Jack. I'll see you guys in a little bit.